Hey, Dr. Craig. Um, I'm an atheist, so I have a more simpler question. Thanks for coming. Uh, yeah, do you uh, believe in the separation of state and church? Real quick, just yes or no. Y yes, I, I believe both in the uh, establishment clause of the Constitution that the, uh, the state should not make any um, establishment of religion, uh, but then also in the freedom of exercise clause that the state should not inhibit the free exercise of religion. So I think both of these guarantees in the Bill of Rights are um, to be ardently defended. Me too. My question is, um, if you believe in the government being separated from the uh, church, so therefore the government's you know, no tied to the church at all, do you think therefore, because you're a Christian, that therefore a Christian has to run the state in order for it to be more? Could it be a Muslim or agnostic or atheist? Oh, oh no, I, I don't think. In fact, if I may speak, well, no, well, I don't. Let, let me just say walls. this. I, I think that many evangelical Christians came of age politically during the Carter administration. Many people voted for Jimmy Carter because he said he was a Southern Baptist, born again Christian, and so the Christians came out and voted for Carter. And then, I think, for most of those voters, he turned out to be a huge disappointment. And what those voters, I think, came to realize is a more sophisticated approach is that you don't elect someone because of his religious beliefs um, or because he, he holds, is a Christian. You elect him because of his policies that you support. And that's what the left, I think, has difficulty understanding about the evangelicals who support Trump. They deplore the man's character and narcissism and anti-Christian behavior, but they agree with a lot of his policies, and so they just swallow hard and ignore his character <laughs> while supporting those policies. So I, I don't think at all that we should vote for Christians or try to get them into office because that's just no guarantee that that person is going to adopt the right policies.